Chapter 3. Exercise 3.79. Arrange these elements in order of decreasing atomic radius. Uh, we have six elements here. Uh, we will put them into these six boxes from the largest atomic radius to the smallest atomic radius. Um, this is an easy question. Uh, whichever element is closer uh, to francium is larger. And the elements closer to helium are smaller. That's it. Uh, but for first year chemistry students, it's hard to just find those symbols uh, in the periodic table. So I would recommend you to download uh, a PDF file or a Word file of the periodic table and search for the symbols. Uh, smallest, neon. Neon is fairly close to helium. And which one is larger? It's strontium. Strong, strontium is uh, pretty close to francium. And then in the middle, uh, scantium, germanium, and if we compare phosphorus and sulfur, uh, phosphorus is closer, slightly closer to francium, sulfur is slightly closer to helium. That's it. That's how you tackle this problem. Um, theoretically, uh, there are two reasons. Uh, number one, uh, if you have higher or larger principal quantum number, uh, the atom is larger. Number two, uh, if you have a smaller uh, effective nuclear charge, the atomic radius is larger. All right, uh, here's uh, um, measuring chemistry solution. Uh, in general, if you go from top to bottom, the atomic radius increases. And then if you go from left to right, the atomic radius actually decreases uh, due to uh, the increasing, um, so-called increasing effective nuclear charge. When you have a larger effective nuclear charge, uh, the electrons are more attracted to the center of the atom or to the nucleus of the atom. And therefore, you have a smaller atomic radius.